All right, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, we got Coach with us. We got a few words from him, and then move into questions. It's uh, well, today was uh, practice six, so uh, spring's going uh, fast, and uh, finished our second week up, and um, it, you know it's uh, it's a reminder you know, having not had it last year of of how uh, how valuable spring practice is and. Uh, and sure appreciate these opportunities. And so um, certainly got to take advantage and, and make the most out of each one. And, um, you know, we got kind of the way the schedule's laid out. You practice day and then you have a good meeting day and then uh, followed by a practice day. And so, um, you know, kind of feel like our kids are into that rhythm and routine and, and um, you know, there's opportunity. And yeah, I've been really... Uh, really pleased with you know some of our better players doing a good job of taking advantage of uh, this opportunity and, and finding ways to kind of hone some skills and uh, and I think it speaks to you know the value of spring football is um, you know there's still doesn't matter if you've played a, a lot of snaps or not um, you, you can get it you can get a lot out of it. And then I think there's certainly a, a group of guys that haven't played that are, are doing a good job of, of taking advantage of the reps that they're getting. And, um, and for that, you, you know, as a coach, you, you certainly notice it and uh, you appreciate it. And the, the, their opportunity uh, is now. And, and I think that all our guys got to understand that, that what you do now will set you up for the, the work and, and in many ways, the role that you'll have in the fall. So, um, you know, then you got another group that's got to think, do a better job of taking advantage of those opportunities. So, uh, like every team been around, you kind of got guys in, in different spots. And, and our job as coaches is to help them all uh, grow and to, and to get better. Jeff? Jeff? Well, you, you mentioned, you know, some of your better players taking advantage of this. I'm just curious. Uh, Danny Davis is our first practice today, but it looks like he should be able to give you some things on offense next year. What kind of senior year do you expect for him and, and how much did you miss him and, and, and prior as well last year? Yeah, it's, um, you know, we we're just talking about Danny the other day. Cause, and I think you'd, you'd remember this too. I mean, there's been a lot of Springs where Danny hasn't had, you know, so just being able to take this time where you can, truly hone in on uh, some specifics, you know, in his case, uh, route running and, and kind of, you know, he and the older receivers should have a better understanding of kind of offensively, you know, what are we really trying to get done with the play? And I think that's what I've also liked about Chim. You know, Chim has done a good job, I think, this offseason where he's kind of put himself into that, that group where you, you kind of, not only has he played, but the way he's approaching it, you know, so Danny, KP, you know, Dunner and, and Chim, uh, I think those are four guys that you've played enough snaps where they've got to take that, those experiences in games and, uh, and use it to help them in the now. And, and certainly, you know, we're all working towards the fall, but I think that all the guys, Danny included, you know, will get the most out of spring if they're just focusing on the spring and and not even, you know, trying to do too much there, but, you know, one or two things and 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 really, really get those those things down, you know, whether it's a, a, a technique or, you know, a specific, you know, on releases or, or whatever that may be. But I, I've I've liked the way that Danny's I think he's been purposeful in his work and, and appreciate that he needs to be, you know, he needs to be a guy that is uh, acting like a, like a veteran. Paul, in the last week or so, we've heard some guys talk about uh, the camaraderie that they're starting to feel with this team, actually being able to be around each other as opposed to the fall. How important do you think that is? And how much have you seen that maybe translate to the practice field so far? Well, I think we, it's a work in progress, you know, but it, but it has been nice. And I think that's one area that, 
I think all of us that have been on teams, you, you really value. And that is that uh, coming together and getting to know each other and getting to know each other in, in different areas. And certainly, you know, when you're uh, in the season, it's uh, there's a different rhythm to it. We're in the off season, uh, whether it's off season conditioning or off season, you know, spring practice that you can, uh, you can kind of do, you can operate a little bit different. So you can uh, come together. You're not necessarily on the, it's a different type of clock that you're on. And, and so um, I think that, you know, we're starting to get it when we were in the winter, we didn't have, you know, one workout where we had the whole team together. And so I think that's where this spring practice has been nice. And uh, but I think f for most teams, it's a, it's a big part of it. And, and we certainly got to take advantage of that. And we're working on it and building it. Jesse? Paul, how challenging is it to get through a practice when you're down to one running back? And in general, just with injuries, is it numbers at other positions make it harder to accomplish your goals this spring at all? It, it certainly, it impacts it. And, and, you know, that's where you try to uh, do and be as creative as you can and, and, and do do as much that, that you can with it. And, and when, uh, you know, one position is down in numbers or, or low on numbers, it, it can affect others because one of the great things about spring practice is uh, you want the ability for a lot of guys to get reps. And, and the first thing to go is the number of reps when you don't have it or those the guys that need the reps aren't practicing. And so, you know, we got to continue to do the best we can. And, and the guys that are, uh, you know, dinged up, got to try to get back as, as quick as they can. But it certainly has an impact. Cool. Coach, you mentioned Danny. I was wondering about A.J. Abbott. He had a couple of nice catches today. But I know he's been kind of on that cusp the last couple of years. Where do you think he's at in his development? And do you think he's a guy that might be able to break through this season? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the uh, certainly the hope that he has and, and the hope that we have. And I think that uh, AJ's a – I think he's a really – there's a group of guys like AJ that spring football is so important for. And, you know, and, and, and I think – I've appreciated the way that he's approached this spring – and it didn't just start, you know, when we started spring practice, you, you know, all winter, he, the way that he's come in so that he was ready for spring practice. And, and I think, you know, that's the group, kind of the ones that have been on the cusp that uh, this is an opportunity. And, and to make the most of it, you know, it's do I know what I'm doing and then go out and do it. And then can I do that at a consistent level? And so I think that, you know, that, Certainly, it's important for everyone, maybe in different ways, but for guys like AJ, uh, I think that that's spring is really big for him because, and I, I think he's done some good things to start with, and uh, it needs to needs to continue. So you know, we got six practices in, you got nine more opportunities, and I think there's a guy that you'd say really needs to take advantage of all those. Uh -huh. Hey, Coach, uh, sorry if this has already been addressed, but just wanted to ask anyway about the energy of the outside linebackers. Uh, wanting, again, wanting to bring that energy back this season. What have you seen so far in the group, and what do you hope to see throughout spring practices? Yeah, I love that group. And, uh, you know, Coach April does a, a great job with them, but uh, that group has energy. It, it's, uh, it's not manufactured. It, it's authentic. And... Uh, it's got a good mix of, of different personalities, but I think they have a, a commonality in that they, they, they love the game and they will work. And, um, and so you appreciate that out of them. And, uh, and it, it's noticed. It's noticed by our whole team. And, and like I said, there's a lot of different uh, personalities in it. And each guy, I think, does a good job of kind of staying within who they are. But it's a... Uh, you know, certainly, as everyone knows, you know, when we're when we're playing really well at that position, it not only helps our defense, I think it helps our whole our whole team. And and that's the you know, it's a you know, Noah's played and been around been in the program for a while. And 
you know, Isaiah has been around, but hasn't been able to do a lot. And then you got a lot of young guys. And, and so, you know, that development within that group is uh, it's, it's, it's big for us, but it's been uh, fun to see them work day in and day out. Thanks coach. Yep. Thank you. Got time for a couple more. We'll go back to Jesse. Paul, what have you seen through six practices from your field goal kicking game with, with Colin and Jack, what's stood out to you? Well, I've, I've liked their, their approach, you know, today, um, you know, we kind of changed it up and, and did a little bit. Uh, and, and I think, you know, they we got to be better than they were today, you know, and they, and they know that. And, and so it's, you know, now you're going to be looking for the response to it, but it's, uh, I think all in all, you know, I've liked the way they've approached things. And, and yet I think, you know, I think we got to do more, find different ways to create situations that, they kind of mimic the game form and 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 give them opportunities to respond in, in in the fashion they want to and certainly we all want them to. All right, we'll wrap things up with one more from Jeff. Yeah, Paul, we we talked to Graham about some of the things he examined in the off season that he needed to do better. Again, this is just our first practice, your sixth practice. What have you seen from him based on how he finished last year and, and what he wants to accomplish in the fall? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, to start with, uh, yeah, I've loved the way that he's approached everything. And it's, uh, it's coming from a great spot. I mean, he, he, will, he will work, and it's important to him. And, and, and not just his play, but, you know, how can he um, be the best teammate that he can be? You know, he understands, I think, properly kind of his, the whole role. And, and Spring's been – you know, spring is really good. His first spring, I don't think, you know, really had a clue to what all was going on, you know, and then to be able to have some of the experiences that he's had and now to have a spring, uh, you know, I think you got to be careful. You know, we do and he, and he does. There's a lot we want to work on. And yet I think you got to make sure that you focus on and uh, emphasize a few things initially, right? You, you don't want – you don't want to focus on everything and not really accomplish uh, making really significant strides and, and, you know, just a little bit here, a little bit there, a little, you, you got to focus on a couple of things. So um, I've, I've liked his approach a lot. And I think that um, has done some good and, and, and very coachable. And, and yet I think there's, you know, it's almost simplifying it to, to try to help him, get better and, and not necessarily by no means that mean dumbing it down, but just kind of what are we really trying to work on? Let's, let's focus on these one, two, maybe three things. And then we'll, we'll cover the next one after that. And so um, he sees it and, and gets that and it's, and it's just holding them to it. And, and, uh, but, but really enjoy working with him. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of work to be done. Thanks coach. All right. Thank you.